Hello everyone, welcome back to another AALD workshop video and I'm Joseph. Today I'll be teaching uh, you guys how to use Live Paint Bucket Tool in Illustrator. And um, after you export your uh, Rhino line drawings into Illustrator, so basically you just want to have these line drawings into, um, make them into a live paintable object. So first of all, we want to make another layer. Let's name it live paint and then go back to the line drawings layer select everything copy make sure to lock it and go back to the live paint layer control shift V so it will paste on top of the original object and make sure to put the live paint layer underneath the, um, the line drawing layer because after you like live paint it won't um, covers up the original line drawings and uh, after you copy and paste it go to object live paint make and now um, the objects are like the line drawings that you copy and paste it becomes a live paintable object and um, now you want to go to property properties and make these line like the copied uh, and pasted object to become invisible so it won't covers up the original drawing deselect everything and now go down to live paint bucket usually you should see the shape builder tool you just right click and select the live paint bucket now when you hovers up and still the line drawing layer is still locked and I'm still selecting the live paint layer and when you hovers on top of like um, the object you're trying to paint it shows like the red border that means like um, for example if I want to paint it black just click on it and it will paint the entire like everything inside the border and this tool is like really handy to some situation because like you can just paint um, different objects in Illustrator really fast and of course subscribe to AALD <clears throat> and other than solid colors these like gradient color that you can select in the middle will also work fine for the life paint um, for, for, for life paint bucket and someone might ask like oh I have like colors underneath and I actually want to put like another layer of uh, life paint on top of it for example like it, it will also work with like patterns and it's actually really easy again you just first of all lock the original like the first life paint layer because you're not working on it anymore unlock the line drawings select everything copy and since you want to make another life paint layer on top of it you make another layer let's name it life paint tool life paint two and then lock the original drawing layer select the life paint two control shift v again so it will like paste it on top of the original object again go to object life paint make so now it becomes another life paintable object and again line weight go to zero so it won't overlap go back to the life paint bucket select the patterns also um, someone might ask like oh how do I find like these patterns of course you can download them online if not they're actually like a illustrator library you can go to windows select swatches I already have it over here swatches and in the bottom left corner there's a swatch libraries menu left click on it and then there are like so many different patterns you can use usually I just go patterns basic graphics and then select texture and actually I have it over here so you just select whatever texture you want to want you can do like this so it overlays on top of um, the first life paint layer 
and of course other patterns and that's actually pretty much it for the fundamental of uh, live pain but of course now my line drawing is like really simple but I know a lot of people are probably working on like maybe a site map that like has a lot more different lines and actually it's you still do the same that I what I did for the um, original line drawings here again um, of course I want to make everything black because usually that's how it looks like after exported from Rhino and make sure to name all these layers clearly so we won't mess things up so everything let's say make them to this 0.5 all into black color so this is like the site map make a layer put it at the bottom as the bottom layer life paint and then again select everything copy lock the layers that you don't want to edit on select back onto the life paint layer Control shift v so paste it back on top um, go to object life paint make now it becomes a live paintable object no line weights so one covers up um, and yeah now this is already done and you can just do whatever you want and sometimes when the object is like too small and you can't select it it's like you're really easy so you just zoom it in and then yeah you can select them and also one thing why life paint is like really useful for especially for like these drawings with like many different lines small lines like for site map you can actually zoom in for example you want to hide uh, you want to paint all the blocks in this row you just hold your right uh, your left click and you can actually just drag them select all of them and they'll select everything at once and of course you don't just have to be it doesn't have to be just a uh, solid color it could be like different patterns and you can play around with it and um, yeah that's 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 pretty much it and also at the end um, some friendly reminder make sure you have your non editing layer locked with uh, clear naming for each layer and make sure to select on the right layer before you um, before you do the live paint and there you go um, please subscribe to ALD and follow our Instagram and discord where we post our uh, some of our workshops portfolio reviews and some office hours for uh, Daniel students and yeah thank you so much